Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome to the webinar. My name is Omar Juma. I work here at the Desertel Faculty of Management. And uh, here with me is Professor Anita Novak. Hi, Omar. Yes, I'm the Academic Associate of the Fellows Program, and we're both really excited to walk you through what this fellowship could mean for you. Perfect. So I'm going to run through the whole uh, presentation, talking about the logistics, the learning outcomes, all of that. And Anita will chime in at different points to talk about uh, some of the learning outcomes and the frameworks for the program. The Integrated Management Student Fellows Program is a unique leadership development experience designed to help you explore your sense of purpose, uh, develop professional competencies, and tackle some of the pressing problems the world faces today. And as you probably know, a fellowship really counts for a lot on your CV and in terms of your own uh, leadership and change-making development. So this is, affords you a great opportunity. So why should you care? Uh, in this program, you will learn three things. You will learn how to leverage a variety of tools, frameworks, and resources collaborate with internal and external stakeholders to address real-world problems through an evidence-based lens. The fellowship has two components that are synergistically connected together. Faculty project, in which you apprentice with one of the Desertel professors to work on either academic research or partnership development activities. I'm going to explain those in a moment and an impact initiative, which you designed with a small group of students to tackle one of the sustainable development goals. It's uh, designed to have co-designing implementation and assessment components within that as well. This whole program is linked through a six credit course over two semesters, and it is open to all Desertel BCom students from all majors and concentrations. Here you will learn how to identify and develop critical skills and competencies, Reflect upon your values, sense of purpose, and leadership style to become an impactful leader and manager. You will learn tools, frameworks, and resources for creating sustainable impact, regardless of your degree, your industry, or your career trajectory. You will complete assignments that integrate your faculty project and impact initiative. And you will delve deeply into the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. So I've mentioned that a couple of times, and some people may know about the SDGs, some of them may not. So these are the 17 Sustainable Development Goals released by the United Nations in 2015, agreed upon by all the countries and to be achieved by 2030. Another way of looking at these 17 goals is this. Whether your desired impact as a manager and leader relates to economic growth, innovation, social progress, ecological protection or governance, this framework is relevant. And obviously, if you're in the Desertel Faculty of Management or coming over as an exchange student, you care about the private industry and being effective as a manager across any industry, if, if it's even if it's in public or nonprofit. What's interesting is that the United Nations Global Compact exists to um, basically look at how the private industry across the world, regardless of sector, can actually um, work on solving some sustainable development goals themselves. So just as an example, Unilever has had the sustainable living plan for a long time. If you go onto their website, you can see how many of the SDGs that their sustainable development living plan is tackling. So, you know, these UN SDGs are permeating across all sectors of society, including the private industry, and certainly coming out as a graduate of McGill and, and Desotel with this fellowship under your belt, it primes you really well in the workplace because you have already had experience working on thinking about and solving problems related to the SDGs. Perfect. So I'm going to delve deeper into the faculty projects and impact initiative. Earlier I mentioned faculty projects have two kinds. Um, one of them are academic research. So that usually entails literature review, collecting, interpreting, analyzing data, writing Python scripts, and writing articles for publication. The second type of faculty project is partnership development activities in which you apprentice with the professor to develop communication strategies, prototypes, mapping of stakeholders, and do some advisory work. 
which basically means also as a bottom line that you'll be working with world-class researchers at McGill University. And I think it's going to give um, everyone in the fellowship an opportunity to see how research is really important in terms of its application and its implication for real society problems. And if you're thinking of grad school applications and having the opportunity to work with researchers, I think it uh, is also another um, another uh, benefit to you for this fellowship. These are the 20 faculty projects that are currently recruiting fellows for the next academic year. All of this information is online as well, but what I want to point out here is that these projects for, are from all the areas at Days Hotel. Mm -hmm. So whatever your major concentration is, you will find something that relates to you. You will also notice that some of these projects have similar titles um, relating to similar domains. So if you want to focus and learn more about that domain, you can apply to those positions. And sometimes a lot of these projects may be very different in their domains, but the skill set that they require and the skill set that you will develop through them is the same. So you can apply to them based on the skills as well. The second component of the fellowship, which you do in parallel to the faculty projects, are impact initiative. So this component is designed sort of uh, like a class. So there are class uh, classes, there are minimal readings, there are assignments that connect the impact initiatives and the faculty project. And these impact initi initiatives, you work in groups to address the sustainable development goals. These are localized in Montreal. There is an academic associate, which is Professor Anita Novak right over here, uh, who's leading the whole program and specifically the impact initiative component. So there is a very structured mentorship support resources and network for all the fellows in the program. The assignments would have individual and group grading. And when we're talking about creating change, we're not just talking about it. The program is designed in a manner to help you go from idea to action. So in the fall semester, you co-design, you engage with the stakeholders and come up with a solution which you will implement and assess in the winter semester. So as you're thinking of yourself applying to this fellowship, you know, the answer would be, yes, this is right for me. If you have a burning desire to work on a to solve problems out there in the world, whether it's climate change or sustainable systems or food security or urban development or education, poverty reduction, health, whatever SDG calls to you, you might find yourself wondering, like, what kind of impact could I have? What could I work on to make a dent in a particular problem? This kind of fellowship is right for you because it would give you the opportunity to develop with a team of students your own solution and implement through the winter semester. And now you may also be attracted to this fellowship if you don't have much information about the SDGs, but you know there's something going on in the world and you want to play a role in being part of the solution as a part of as opposed to part of the problem. And you may not have like a specific idea of what you would like to work on, but that's okay too, because you're going to find yourself learning more about the SDGs early in the semester and you'll be grouped uh, based on affinity. So you, whether you have an idea already in mind or whether you are curious, we, we have a place for you within this fellowship. So the impact initiatives Usually, uh, whenever we're talking about creating change, uh, people think about starting an enterprise or designing an application. But impact initiatives are much more broad than that. They can range from fundraising campaigns to blockchain models and disaster scenarios, from training programs to models for conservation, from social enterprises to designing applications, and from public policy advocacy to mass mobilization and civic engagement. These are some of the pilot, uh, the impact initiatives from the pilot cohort. Anita, would you like to explain? Sure. Uh, so since the fall, we've been working with a group of students that are participating in the pilot, um, which now we are scaling to the fellowship for the fall of 2020. And just to give you an idea of the three groups um, that have formed and have been working collaboratively for the past uh, almost year, um, have have 
devoted themselves to three principal areas. So one is around the circular economy and designing a kind of resource or a toolkit for small and medium enterprises who are interested in applying the circular design methodology to their own either production processes or procurement. So it's quite interesting and quite relevant to SMEs. Um, a second group is working on increasing accessibility for people with reduced mobility, and they have partnered with a social enterprise that already exists and what they're doing is they're scaling efforts within certain underrepresented and under yeah underutilized um, groups. The third group is looking at the issue of mental health among young people who are studying at edu uh, in higher education at university campuses across Canada and are placing a bit of a focus on mental health. Um, best practices that uh, universities are using and seeing what could be applied within the uh, McGill context. So real life problems uh, with real life solutions. Okay, excellent. So Anita, did we assign any of these ideas to the students or did they come up with these ideas? No, and, and that's an interesting question because the they the groups formed around, they coalesced around an SDG that they were excited about and, and had in common, and then they were exposed to readings and videos and speakers and an iterative process, included, uh, including uh, a bunch of different tools that are used out in the real world uh, to solve social problems, systems mapping, the impact gaps canvas, design thinking, theory of change, all of that, um, and through their iterative process, came to these three um, impact initiatives. Excellent. So now that we've convinced you, <laughs> hopefully, uh, to apply to this fellowship, uh, I want to explain a little bit of the logistics that go with that. So earlier on, I mentioned that this leadership development experience is, uh, is linked through a six credit course over two semesters. So you receive six credits, three in fall, three in winter. And three out of these six credits can be counted towards your major or concentration as a complementary course and the other as electives. Or if you have a lot of electives, you can opt to take all of them, uh, all six credits as electives. The time commitment and coursework, considering that you're part of the faculty project and an impact initiative, all of that is that too much? No, it's actually the time commitment and coursework is similar to a regular three credit course in fall semester and a regular three credit course in winter semester. And just uh, these credits, as they contribute towards your major or concentration, you have to pay for them just like any other credits based on your residency status at McGill. So this is a visual to explain how your academic year would look like with or without a fellowship. So to the left, you can see if you usually register for five courses, uh, in fall and winter semester, and then you take up uh, an RA position, a TA position, some other part-time job, or participate in extracurricular activities. With the fellowship, you only register for four courses. The fifth course technically is the fellowship, and we register for you for that for both fall and winter semester. You're gaining professional uh, experience in this fellowship, so if you want to do just a different job or something like that afterwards, you will still have time in the evenings and on the weekends for this. Uh, another cool point is that you will have majors, uh, you will have midterms and finals for only four of the courses. There are no midterms or finals for the fellowship, but there are graded assignments. So this is still a challenging course. It is not a bird course, and we want you to be aware of that before you sign up. But challenging in all the right ways. Exactly. So the application process, you apply on my future by searching for IMSF, Integrated Management Student Fellows. I'll show that in the next slide as well. There are 20 positions you can apply for as many as you want, but uh, be conscious of your time and the cover letters that have uh, that showcase your intrinsic motivation have more uh, would have higher tendency to be called for interviews. On each posting, there is a Google link for a statement of interest, which relates to the impact initiative. You have to submit that just once. After that, we'll have interviews with the faculty members. The fellowship announcements will be in early April. So you'll know in April what you're doing for the next academic year. And then MDIM and the BCom office will support you in Minerva registration and credits allocation. 
over the summer you will do your tuition payments and the fellowship commences in September. Who is eligible? All BCom students from all majors and concentrations can apply for this fellowship. You have to be here for two consecutive semesters, fall and winter. And if you're going away for exchange or interning abroad at some point in the next academic year, don't worry, this fellowship will be there for next year as well. So try to plant seeds as to how you're going to shape your year of the year after next year. Uh, the last criteria is that you should have six credits available in your degree. If you're uncertain about how this really fits in your degree and how you can allocate credits, reach out to your BCom advisors. They know about the program and they can help you with those decisions. So as I mentioned earlier, you can search for IMSF on my feature and apply for the postings. The deadline is March 15th. If you have any more questions, feel free to email me. And a lot of these details are mentioned in the frequently asked questions as well. And I will be putting up this video later on. So if you want to review some of the content that we've mentioned before, you can watch this again. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Thanks for listening.